Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Also, if you're new around here and you're not subscribed, please press the sub button and the notification bell and then you'll be alerted when they're not with when and whenever, <laughs> whenever I upload a new video, got some new content for you guys. So grab yourselves a cup of tea and some snacks. I keep saying get a tea and I've got an orange squash in the mug guys, but it's in my Emma Bridge Water Mother's Day mug. And we have got a jam packed day today. So use, it went down so well last time when we done a vlog. So I thought I'm gonna do another vlog and we are starting to decorate baby's nursery, which is just so exciting. I love decorating a new room. And I've really been kindly sent out some prints by Decenio. So I'm gonna show you these prints as well. We're gonna go out and have a bite to eat. We're gonna go pick some paint samples and have a little mooch around the shops because Gary's off. So we're gonna go as a little team. And um, so the prints that I've actually got from Decenio, I'll explain Decenio as well. So if you don't know what Decenio is, they're like a luxury print brand, but really affordable prices. Um, so I've worked with them before. I absolutely love their prints. Their prints are scattered around basically near all the rooms in my house now. Um, and they're really, really good. So they've also offered a 30% discount for you guys to use. It's valid from 8th of June until the 10th of June, midnight. Um, and it's also 30% off, if I hadn't already said, baby brains making me forget. And the code is Rosie Henshaw Home, all in capital letters. I will put all of the information below in the description box. And um, this doesn't obviously apply on frames handpicked or the personalised prints, but their prints that they do on there, it's valid on. So I just thought that was really good. And I just love because a few of the ones that I've bought before and I've had a little change in colour palette, I've kept the frames. And all I've done is just gone on and bought the size picture, like the prints to go inside. Such a versatile and affordable way to change up a room, I find. Um, so I'm gonna show you the prints now. And if you like these prints, I'm also gonna leave a little link below to these prints because they're really lovely. So I've put them all up here on the shaker paneling in the dining room so you can get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. Because we've currently got the carpenter making this shaker paneling. Um, for the nursery. I think we're gonna go for like a minty green. We'll see, we're gonna go today and pick some colors. But these are the prints that we've picked. I thought they're really beautiful. So we're going for an animal style theme and we've got like the alphabet of all the little animals, which I thought was really clever. We also picked the frames in like a light oak. We also picked this one, which is like a map. And it shows you like what animals you would get from different countries. I thought that was amazing. So educational as well. Um, and then we've got this big one as well, and it shows you all the different fish and creatures that you'd get in the, under the sea. We've got a little Hakuna Matata, which means don't worry. <laughs> I don't think you can see that without reading it and singing that song. Um, so, and kids just want to have fun. So I think this is the kind of colour we're going to be going for in the end on the panelling. But this is the sort of layout we're going to be having in the nursery. So very similar column radiator, same kind of panelling um, and having these prints up. And we're going to be having a lot of like mustard yellows, lots of earthy tones and jute like textures. Also as well, I think we're going to get some pegs. Um, each panel where the shake is to hang like little bits and toys and baskets for the baby, a little boy now as we know. So I thought these were really beautiful, really versatile and obviously these can change up a room. So if we decide to go really plain, we can always add these and change the scheme really nice and easy and really affordable as well. So I really love these. And so I'm let's really... go get some breakfast. Gal, Gary, yeah. are you ready? Yeah. Come on, let's get some breakfast. And then we go get some paint samples. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go to Frinton in, um, we're gonna go to Frinton, it's Parker's Garden Centre. I'm gonna take you round. I'm gonna show you a little bits in the shops and I'm also gonna show you the breakfast of dreams. So we're gonna go there, I'm really excited. And then I'm probably gonna to pop to B&Q afterwards um, because to go and pick some paint samples. So you can help me out with that because I am getting a bit confused. I'm just thinking, what well, should we get this? What well, should we get that? Also as well, I've got a midwife appointment today and we're gonna take the kids to go and see Peter Rabbit at the cinema. So we've got a jam packed day. Hopefully you'll enjoy coming with us on that day out. We're now at Parker's Garden Centre. They sell like literally the most cutest little plants and stuff and flowers. They've got like a lovely little cook range inside. Loads of little flowers. They've got like a big iron. I said, Alan. And then they've just got the most beautiful little accessories and stuff inside. How cute are some of these like faux flowers? I think I might get some of these and do like a, a big spring wreath for the, like the inside of the kitchen. But look, all these lovely little like 
gifts that they do. They've got like an Emma Bridgewater section as well and like a Sophie Allport. So, so cute. I love coming in places like this. Got such cute little bits. Also got like a little food section where they do all like wines and ginger ales, presses. Oh, this is my favorite bit. I'm not gonna lie, all the chocolates and sweeties, crisps and chutneys. They still haven't got the um, oh, cakes. <laughs> they still haven't had pick a lily gal come in. I asked, haven't got the pick a lily, um, but they're all local bits. And here's the little Emma Bridgewater section. Um, so it was really nice because they do little napkins and stuff as well, which you could obviously use to decoupage candles or little items, little aprons, jars. I actually got this jar when I came in here last time. So it's a little wee jar. It's eight ninety nine, and it comes with loads of English breakfast tea bags inside. So the breakfast will come out. And you've got, you've got poached eggs and mushrooms, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, in granary bed. <laughs> Hurry up, will you? <laughs> Yeah, but I love that their scrambled eggs ain't overdone as well. It's lovely. So we're in B&Q. We've got to get a lawnmower for the grass. <laughs> and a hose. Um, so we're just going to get the paint mixed up for the side of the house because there's a patch where the um, lean-to was. Probably can't even hear me. But we're going to get some paints mixed up for the baby's room now. So we always use um, Valspar. So we go to the Far and Ball section, but we're getting mixed up by B&Q. So they mix it in hand in here. So Sorry. these are the fire and ball colours um, in B&Q and I'm already drawn to this blue, this oval room blue for the panelling in the bottom part of the boys room, um, baby's room. But I'm torn between this Sudbury yellow and India yellow. Look, they're so grabby where people just touch them, so I'm not going to touch them, but for the wardrobe. So I'm going to get these testers mixed up. It's £3 for a large tub mixed up by, by the B&Q instead. What colours do you like? I quite like that Denimes colour. Arsenic. <laughs> Victorian poison. Not sure. What colours are you thinking? Or are you thinking to go for like Valspar colours instead? I think yellow. Yeah. Definitely yellow for his You think yellow for his walls or is it just his wardrobe? His wardrobe. I'm really liking these mustards though. But this is really good because they've got this little section here and how will the colour look in your room. So they've got direct sunlight, fluorescent light and energy saving. So whatever bulb you have, you can put it under and it looks different. So you are my sunshine. Or oh. oh, look completely different in different lighting. It's a bit bright that though. I like the more mustardy oh, colours. <laughs> <Fuck it up. laughs> uh, I think that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> they all look the same. Oh. So funny. And then also while we're in here as well, Millie wanted like a pink and a turquoise. And she said when we come in here before it was opera sunrise. So we did want black paint for our decking and for our fences, but my nan's got black on her decking and she's like, don't. She said, because where we live in the seaside area, she said the seagulls just poop all over it. And someone said something about, girl, get in some decking paint that's got like a, a sticky thing in it, like a sand, like a grit to stop you slipping, which I thought was really good. So we're at the cinemas, we've come to see Peter Rabbit. No, no, no. Are you excited? Yes. yes. <laughs> All the sweeties. We're gonna watch Peter Rabbit today, and the kids are so excited. How excited are you to see Venus Cinemas? It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. What was you telling me? What was in here last time A when you come in here? Christmas tree. Christmas tree. I think that was the last time. Well, it might have been actually. That was, that was before I think we're in lockdown. So, Christmas trees. Yeah. With what we saw, we saw Sonic, didn't we? Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. The fastest. A hedgehog in the world. Yeah, the fastest hedgehog in the world. So, so, what did you say to me about my phone? Because obviously we've got half an hour because we've got to wait for everyone to see so that, you know, make sure that it's social distancing. We took our mask off now. We're sat down, not yeah. you, just mummy. But what has mummy got to do in a minute? What did you tell me off for? Uh, you can't have your phones when you're watching the movie. That's exactly right. So, yeah, really excited. 
and um, yeah, no, no, we're, no, no, we're, we're all having commotions of where we're sitting. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm you. <laughs> I better get you back on it because you won't get in it. You secretly love it. You're like Chandler. You are, aren't you? Chandler from Friends. You want to be a YouTuber. You secretly enjoys it. You want to be a YouTuber? Well, who's in space? Just be one of them because I'm not even a YouTuber. Yeah. What are we doing? Get on the camera, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah. We've had such a nice day today. The pictures was just amazing it was so good i would definitely recommend watching peter rabbit too me and the kids and gary was all really really laughing it was some really funny bits in it um so what i'm doing now is we've just all had something to eat the kids have all got washing into their pjs they're just chilling having a little bit of downtime for like 20 minutes before we go up and um, it's been really really nice so we picked some tester pots and um, so we ended up going for that greeny color um I'm not sure, it's like a greeny blue colour. And the yellow, we did go for the India yellow, which was really, really dark. We ended up going for like the, the sunset yellow, the slightly lighter yellow. And um, so I'm gonna do the paint in the wardrobe. I think I'm gonna do a little video actually. I think I might do an upcycle video. I feel like I've not done one of those in ages. So I'm gonna do sand all the wear wardrobe down because it's currently the one that's in Millie's bedroom now. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to repurpose it because obviously I don't like waste and I like upcycling furniture. It's quite fun to do as well. If you can get a new lease of life or something. So Millie has got new wardrobes because she's got some lockers. I'll do a little tour and show bits that I picked up for Millie's room at another time. Um, and they're pink, mint green and white. So they're going to go up in her loft room that really cool. But the wooden wardrobe, I just cannot get rid of. And it's the perfect size for baby clothes. So we're going to go for mustard. I might get some really quirky little wooden handles to put on it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting that done, but it's definitely gonna go really nice with the print. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've been Rosie Henshaw, see you later. And this has been Gary Henshaw. Come on, girl, do <laughs> no, you no, do no. okay? <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Gary Henshaw. Boom, boom, shh. <laughs> see you later, guys, bye.